Hey Home Slice, it's finally autumn and I have this DIY which is a kimono that I made out of a scarf and it's really for those who have warmer fall months but I couldn't wait until next summer to show this to you. I know that Brandy Melville sells kimonos for about $30 which just doesn't cut it for me so I just made one myself. This does require sewing but overall this is a very simple DIY. You will need a scarf or any piece of cloth minus 27 and a half inches wide and 72 inches long. You will also need two eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper, some needles, a colored pencil, and a pair of scissors. First, lay out your fabric and fold it in half. The face of the fabric being folded inward should be the one that'll be shown when it's worn. Now take the top flap and fold that towards the crease. Lay out the rest of the fabric sitting under the fold that was just made. Take that end and bring it towards the center of the fabric so that it meets the first flap that was folded inward. To secure the folds, pin needles across the top length of the fabric. Take the 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and fold that in half lengthwise. Open it up and fold one of the flaps into the crease and place that on either of the bottom corners of the fabric. Fold the second paper the same way and place it on the other bottom corner. These papers represent the parts that will be cut out to form the sides and sleeves, so trace the perimeter of each paper with a colored pencil. Once that's finished, remove the pieces of paper and cut out the two rectangles. The top and bottom layers of fabric above the rectangle cutouts need to be separated, so place the scissors in between the layers and cut straight across. Next, secure the layers together by putting needles along the edges that outline the rectangle cutouts. You can begin sewing the top length of the fabric, but stop about two and a half inches before reaching the middle where the flaps meet. And by the way, I'm using a zigzag stitch only because my fabric is flimsy and frays very easily. Now sew along the edges that outline the rectangle cutouts. The most important parts that needed to be sewed are finished, but now the sleeve holes need to be cleaned up. So the jagged or fraying edge of the sleeve should be folded about half an inch inward two times. Fold that together with some needles, do the same to the other sleeve, and get sewing. Turn it inside out, and now you have a kimono. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this fashion DIY and would like to see more, then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!